Hi there, it's Mark from Orange Rocket. Welcome back to our channel. I hope you are doing well. Today I want to talk about add to cart, purchase rates, cart abandonment and all that kind of stuff. So when I started to dig into these details um, and get information about the performance of various products and some of the people we work with, I was quite shocked at some of the numbers, particularly around um, purchase rates and cart abandonment. And it kind of got me thinking about maybe a different way of approaching some of the advertising that we do. So what we do, and I, I can't remember exactly which uh, which categories these two are from. These, this is real data, but it's obviously I can't say who it is. But we can see here that um, click-through rate. So this on the left-hand side is the brand, and this is the market that they operate. So if it's a pet brand, it will be pet supplies. So it's right at the very top category. So, you know, you can't get down to pet beds or supplements with this data yet. Um, I'm sure it will, it will come. So, you know, we can look at the click-through rate compared to the market. So we can see that, you know, the two, the two people we work with, um, two brands we work with, their click-through rate is much better in the market so that's a good thing now cart rate add to cart obviously of all those people that actually go to the listing how many actually end up adding to the cart and we can see that this uh this brand here is doing slightly worse or quite a bit worse than the market um, this brand here is doing slightly better than the market nothing really to concern about now that kind of would suggest that if they're landing on a listing and they're not adding it to the cart, then maybe there's something wrong with the listing that is suggesting. So you've got to think about the customer journey from when they type in a search term to they click, they see a search result or a bunch of search results, they decide to click on it. That's the first indication that we've got that bit right. So price, first image, title, reviews, ratings, all that seems to be about right. But maybe, when they get on the listing, maybe something's going adrift there. Maybe the images, maybe the bullet points, maybe the description, A plus content, maybe they're distracted by other um, competitors in the advertising um, sections. We don't know, but that's worth some looking at. But the point I was looking at more about was this here, where uh, <coughs> of those 40% or so, or indeed 54% that actually add it to the cart, how many actually go on to purchase? And this was something that really shocked me, was that um, I maybe shop slightly differently in that virtually everything I add to my cart, I buy. Um, but other people shop in a different way. And they may be shopping around, putting things into their cart, and then at some point later, um, purchasing it. Now we, we see traditionally we see a very high um, mobile um, usage on our session data compared to what we call browsers which is non-mobiles. So one of the things that got me thinking is that maybe people are surfing, adding things to their cart while they're maybe on the bus or working or somewhere where they don't want to complete the transaction with credit cards and all of that kind of stuff and then when they're back at home and they're on a laptop or a screen, normal screen, they're actually then completing the, the purchase. And that's maybe some of the reason why we see so much um, data on um, mobile versus non-mobile. I don't know. Um, but what shocked me is the purchase rate. And we see this fairly consistently is that a third of people actually purchase what they put into the cart. Now, this makes sense. You know, not everyone who's going to look at a listing actually ends up buying it. That that makes sense. So if you've got a good click through rate, you know that people know the price, they know the first image, but something is losing them if it's lower than the, the, the average. Um, but then when we come here, we can see that, you know, we're a little bit lower than the than the average purchase rate. But that's not the point. The point always concerns me is just how many people don't go on to purchase and that means that there's a very high cart abandonment rate obviously this number plus this number equals 100 percent so of all of the 100 percent of all 100 people who add something to their cart um 32 33 of them go on to buy and 67 of them don't um don't buy uh, 
uh, they they remove it from their cart and then we can start thinking about using brand tailored promotions to start targeting those cart abandonments and if you've got access to um, DSP and some of the more advanced tools then of course you can start targeting cart abandonment um, and a number of other um, criteria that you can use to narrow down that search. It's just very interesting to look at the behavior of why people, um, and I believe in following the customer journey when I look at data and I say, well, at what point is it breaking down? Are they clicking, uh, you know, are we getting good, are we getting good traffic? Are we getting good conversion? Are we getting good cl click through rate? Are we getting good add to cart rate? Are we getting good purchase rate? All of that point, if at any point you're getting poor data or you're getting poor data compared to your competitors, that's the point at which you need to start saying, okay, this is where I'm losing people. What can I do? Can I run some tests? Can I try it? Can I move things around? Um, can I change the images? And you might find that some of this data gradually begins to change. Um, and hopefully that will give you a few ideas on what to do and how to approach um, looking at the customer journey, add to carts, purchase rates and cart abandonment. I hope that helps. I uh, look forward to speaking to you again soon. Don't forget if you want um, to ask us any questions we're available. Um, you can contact us uh, by leaving a message on any of our um, YouTube videos or LinkedIn or Facebook. Um, you can contact me on our website um, orangerocket.co.uk. Love to hear from you. Um, happy to answer any questions or look at your brand, give you a few ideas, no obligation. Happy to do that at any point um, and um, hopefully speak to you um, soon. Thank you. Bye bye.